Hi there. As an elderly homeless person, um, how is it affected to you? And how do people uh, see you? Like, what type of looks and what type of attitudes do they give you as a uh, homeless? Oh, yes. Have you had anybody try to hurt you or try to uh, harass you in any kind of way? How is it being an elderly out here, homeless? Um, I forgot to ask, what is your name? Steven. Steven. Steven? It was nice to meet you, Stephen. Do you have any type of message that you would like to spread to America? No. You're pretty cool on that? It was it was a pleasure meeting you. And uh, I've been seeing you the last three days or so. And I hope everything gets better for you. High five? Woo! All right, buddy. Tell, tell YouTube later. All right. Puerto Rico. I go to Puerto Rico. You don't need a fucking passport to go to Puerto Rico. I know, but just a couple weeks working, you don't have any money for us. How are we getting the dogs to work? You ride with somebody from the car. They're not flying to Puerto Rico. They gotta take all their shit in trucks and shit down there. Baby, there's no bridge to Puerto Rico. Baby, Puerto Rico is like down here in Mexico. No. Driving. It's off the coast of Puerto No, you don't drive to Puerto Rico. Oh, it's well, in the middle of the ship. Put all our shit on a freight ship. <laughs> you thought we'd drive? I don't, I don't know how you get paid. Hey. It's Key West, buddy. <laughs> I walk everywhere else. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Rats can stow away on a ship so good. I mean, you could take a charter a boat to a quarter I would hope that's going to be Uh, every time I see UPS, I say, hey, well, can't you, like, put me in a live animal box? You know, that's how you used to send your kids to visit their relatives, like, in, what, the mail. 30s and 40s? Yeah. Like, you put postage stamps on them, and they rode with the mail carriers from mail office to mail office until they arrived where they were supposed to. <laughs> But that's how, like, you'd send your kids to their grandparents for, like, the winter or whatever. Like, you'd mail them, literally. Back in the, uh, 1920s, uh, when they had horses and carriage, like, if anybody that was trusty, like, they had to have been bonded and trusted by the community and, um, what's it called? Um, uh, not the sheriffs, the, um, um, Kins with the... W, I think. I don't know. The constable? No. Uh, war not warrant. Um, they didn't have all the police departments. They only had like um, sheriffs. Marshals. Marshals, yes. If they were uh, bonded with the marshals, they'll send the, the loved ones important documents with them. To the next, if they're going to like Washington D.C. or somewhere. Yeah, like the Pony Express. Yeah. White Rabbit. If you're wondering what White Rabbit is, um, somebody say. It makes the smoke go away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's just what I was taught, and it works every time. We are. They are cooking food. This is how we cook food on. Rice, tomatoes, refried beans, and chicken. Going in tortilla shells, like the Mexicans. <laughs> it's probably hot. Ugh. Somebody said it might get up to uh thirty. Okay, it's going to get up to thirty. It was uh. It was thirty-four this morning. I feel sorry for that um that bum up there. That's what I told I told Jen. I was like, if we uh, I was like, next time I talk to him, I said, tell him if it gets too cold, man, I got a fire pit and shit at my campsite. Like we live in a tent too. I have a fire pit. If I just don't trust him that well. I don't. I haven't talked to him. You have. I'm even telling you, I know you want to be nice to the world, but 
Right. Say I was going to tell him to come here. I said I wanted to. Um, I don't want to be mean, but you know, he can find himself a spot to start trying to like. He's old enough, has enough knowledge for that. The uh, the old bum. I wonder if he why he didn't get a, a tent or anything. Walks around with his blanket <laughs> and his umbrella. Like uh, Pinky, you know, uh, off of uh, Charlie Brown. It's not Pinky. That's uh, Stinky. Uh, Linus. 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 Yeah, Linus. <laughs> We're talking about another homeless bomb. That's mean. <laughs> Campfire. Can't fire. What? Hell yeah. So this is camp. Can't kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? I told my 10 year old nephew that's what our camp is called. <laughs> Can't kill yourself. <laughs> so this can go under the category of illegal stealth camping. All right, guys. This is uh, night number two of camping cold style, keeping warm. We've been here for what two, three weeks? A week. A week. A week. And nobody's obviously said anything. Uh, people said if I was homeless, I was talking to people, and they were like, if I was homeless, I'll start fire. To keep warm. We do. I didn't tell him that part. What are you doing there? Ooh. Tortilla. Tortilla. All right. Stay tuned. We're traveling. That's a part of uh, living on the outside of society. You gotta put up with all these stinky eye looking people. Uh, caught a ride out of Short Punk to uh, some little town in uh, Route 301, headed southbound. Uh, if you guys see us, don't be afraid to talk to us, pick us up. Uh, Take us to your house, whatever. I'm up for uh, having fun. I'm gonna try to keep it less talking and whatnot, but it's gonna be a cool trip. Hello, guys. Um, well, I ended up going to a Christian, um, camp, a Christian camp. Uh, it's pretty nice. You know, I'm here till the 29th, having fun, uh, volunteering. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, or I'll tell you the name of it is the Calvary Campground. Uh, it's in Virginia. They call it um, Calvary Pentacle Tabernacle. It's 111 352 Heflin Lane, Ashland, VA, 23005. Um, they got annual events open to the public at no cost. A uh, minister's convention that will be held on in January. Winter competition or competing February summer camp meeting. Sorry, um, yeah, there you go. I think they misspelled 
something, but it's June, September 29th, or uh, June through September. Thanksgiving conference is uh, November. Prophetic pro uh, conference, December. Every week in between events are there are services Friday 7:30 p.m. to Saturday and Sunday 11 to 7 11 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. Uh, you can join them on their Israel tour. Groups are taken twice a year in March and April. Uh, call to find out specific dates, other special events, and missions opportunities available through the year. You can go onto their uh, website at www.calvarycampground.org or call them at 804-798-7756 or slash info at calvarycampground.org. There you go, guys. Uh, I will be doing a um, channel ad promoting this, getting you guys to come out, have fun, and do everything like a Christian. Hey there, I've been here for the last few days volunteering my time and uh, worshiping God. I love God. I've been lost without Him. I've sinned. I've repented and whatnot. Uh, I'm starting to like this little uh, campground here. But uh, God has called me to another location which I don't know yet. Unfortunately, God is a part of my life, and there's no way out of that. Um, right now I'm supposed to be in uh, what they call prayer. Um, right, now, right now, I don't know if you can see her, I'm uh, taking her out, letting her use the bathroom. Uh, and whatnot. I'm gonna uh, let you take a look around. I'm at a cornfield, I think, right now. <sighs> let my dog play. She's out there frolicking. Love that dog. Whew. What are you looking at down yonder? Um, sorry for the shakiness. I, I don't have the best hands. Are you just gonna stand there? <laughs>